The right circular cylinder can be done several ways. We have um, the circle at the, uh, the bottom can be extruded up. Uh, we can create this as a revolve and within the revolve we have a, a couple options that uh, we can work with. The oblique will probably have to be like the uh, oblique rectangular so we'll save that one for later. So I'm in my SolidWorks. We're going to launch a part. Right, so I should be getting uh, familiar. We're about ready to, uh, to create a template here. And if my video card catches up, there we go. All right, so let's uh, open a sketch on the top plane. I would like to see my origin. And I'll open up the uh, the sketch. It goes the origin goes from blue to red, and we'll pick a uh, size. So one of the things to note is that we will be doing the diameter with our circle. So a three inch, and I'm going to hit Control and seven on the keyboard, so it goes to an isometric view, just to kind of get a uh, a perspective. And then when I go into the features, extrude boss base, I can drag out with the scale, but most of the time I'm just going to come over and say we want uh, a five inch, and enter that value, and get the desired result. All right, so to keep this um, a little uh, simpler, that was uh, Control-1 to go to the front view. Keep this a little simpler for the file structure. And if you want to try these, uh, these techniques, go ahead and just build out into the, uh, into the one part. All right, so that basically clears, uh, clears me out. So I'm going to go into a sketch in the front plane, and we're going to make almost the same size. And one of the things with performing a revolve is putting in a, a center line. Don't have to, but it establishes the axis of, uh, of symmetry, the axis of rotation. And so if you've watched any of the previous videos, the, um, uh, the, the habit is vertical and infinite length. I don't want to run out of center line. I'm looking for that coincidence to the origin. And if it doesn't happen to get it, oh well. I'm just going to right click and select out. Um, on our shortcut keys, I can hit L, and that will put me into line if I want to draw the, uh, the geometry, or we can go right into the rectangle. So we'll go rectangle and into select. And because we're drawing the quarter section, we cut the, uh, the cylinder in half, we cut it in half again, we're looking at one quarter of this uh, geometry. If I don't make this a rectangle, or if I just drew the three lines, when I go to revolve this, SolidWorks is going to ask me, do you want to close this? And sometimes the, um, the way it closes the, uh, the geometry can be a little, uh, little strange depending on what you're creating. All right, so if I go with the, just the uh, line object here, I'm going to get a radius. It's still going to show up as a linear dimension, but I will only end up with a radial. So I'm going to pick the vertical and then come over to the center line. So another advantage of the center line is that I can switch sides and get a diameter. All right, so I'm going to hit Control Z and undo that. And one more time <laughs> and do it again. Right, so if I click on the, um, the vertical line, click on the center line, between the object and the center line is radial, and going to the opposite side, dimetral. Radial, dimetral, radial, dimetral. All right, so now that I've got that diameter, go to three inches. We made the other one five inches. Notice it stayed in diameter. It said you were having so much fun doing uh, diameters, you just want to keep doing them. So in this case, I'm just going to hit escape once 
Escape twice will get you completely out of the uh, the smart dimension. Hitting it once uh, backs up one step and lets you place the linear dimension for five inches. All right, so that's enough geometry. We can add. We can get a lot of um, uh, of geometry out of a out of a revolve. But for our basic cylinder, we're ready to go right into the feature and do a revolve boss base. So advantage of the center line is that I can go right to the axis of revolution. It sees that center line. If the sketch only has one center line, it will become the axis of revolution. That doesn't mean that I can't go back and pick others and see different results. And as long as this uh, sketch is not self-intersecting, it will complete out the axis of revolution or the uh, the revolve uh, boss base with that uh, with that axis. All right. So if I show, we're going to see that the objects are the same size. They basically have the the same volume, same geometry, but our techniques are going to be just a little bit different depending on what our end result.